today we are in the Tampa Bay Bucks playbook here. We're going to be looking at gun, tight, doubles here. I'm going to come out and double stick. Um, we'll just match with a, just a regular 2-4 nickel play. And I really like the scheme. I mean, I really like the Tampa Bay Bucks playbook in general, at least the last couple years. Uh, it really, since Tom Brady got there, man, it has been... It has been really good, uh, at least in Madden and stuff. And, I mean, they've, they've teared up in the league, too. They got a Super Bowl. So, yeah, I really like this Tampa Bay playbook. If you're looking to pass heavy, I mean, they only have single back and uh, shotgun formations. Like, there's no eye form, nothing like that. So, if you're looking to air this out and throw the ball down the field, um, this is the playbook. This is a great playbook for you. So, I came out here in double stick. Uh, the rest of these plays are going to attack down the field, mostly. So, I like to throw in something shorter to... Uh, keep your opponent honest and give you a short yard, short yardage um, gainer kind of deal. So, so double stick. I mean, you can run this stock, obviously. Read your guy. Throw the damn ball to whoever's open. All right, you get the idea there. Um, oh, before I move on to another play, though, you can maybe you streak a guy. Maybe you throw Godwin on. Well, actually, Godwin has. Yeah, I mean, that's beautiful, right? Maybe you set up something like this. You're looking left. Nothing left. Try to throw the ball deep. Something like that, right? ton of different things you can do out of the double stick like having the short option here but next play we're going to be looking at here is is just flood and flood i really like to honestly i mean you can run this stock um, i mean you have godwin here you can always throw him on a corner as well something like that maybe you throw him on an in uh, try to get the timing well but keeping him on a drag is also just a great thing running at stock uh, the main thing about this play though is the mike evans route it's the sale route we're trying to clear it out with jones and then mike evans come around underneath that and of course right here uh, we'll go into the replay and that is actually a benefit of keeping uh, in this case chris godwin on a drag here so we're looking mainly here we're looking at like i said mike evans Okay, the defense does a great job here, kind of almost bracketing him. Um, a defender here, you can't throw it. Defender, obviously, over here, you can't throw it. And a safety deep for the deep route. And this is the benefit of having Chris Godwin on the drag, throw the drag underneath. And, of course, with this Godwin route, I mean, that's not O.J. Howard. That's uh, that's Rudolph, right? He gets kind of chucked there a little bit at the line of scrimmage. So you don't get quite, like, the levels concept with Godwin and uh, in the tight end here. But easy check down to to Chris Godwin. Let's go back to Flood. And here, actually, the Mike Evans route. Oh, what the? What was that? Dude, just fell down. But the, 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 you see what the idea is. I think we've all ran sale, the sale concept. Um, if you've played Madden in the last couple years here, and there you go. Freedom up down the field, using the clear out, getting the idea here. And I, I chose these three plays here. For, I mean, wow, they really stacked it here. I chose these three plays because you're going to see. Flood, we have a, a sale route attacking the left side, that corner route, attacking the left side of the field. And then we have Z-Spot that we're going to go to next here. Um, and it's going to attack the right side of the field with a, with a few different routes we can do. But Flood, um, you definitely get the idea. Say you have... I mean, there's a ton of different things you can do with this, right? You, you have Titan Apprentice here, or in this case, you have Godwin. Always put him on a corner, put him on a flat, and run, like, basically smash. And then you have two guys that... I mean, Mike Evans, man. Is he a route tech or some kind of mid mid elite or deep out elite or something i don't know but he's getting good separation there a ton of different things you can run in stock great play to have in the repertoire next thing we're going to go to is z spot and like i said we attack the left side of the field let's attack the right side of the field here um and really obviously what you're going to want to do here not obviously maybe but i like the street chris godwin here and after that i mean you can just run the play just run the play and that is actually perfect. That is perfect. Yeah, that is Kyle Rudolph. That is Kyle Rudolph. And that was absolutely perfect what we're trying to set up. And this is the same thing as on the other side of the field, right? We're setting up this, this Kyle Rudolph route. This defender here comes down and plays, plays our running back. Uh, Chris Godwin carries this corner over here down the field. Opens up, opens up Kyle Rudolph for the easy catch. Halftime, just want to remind you guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel. You guys know how the whole YouTube thing works. And uh, most importantly, though, I do want you guys to leave a comment and let me know what it is you want to see next on the channel. You know, we're mostly doing the mini schemes. We're doing the whole mutt, the whole mutt deal. But let me know what it is you guys want to see going forward on the channel. So I think that's all I, hate, I needed to say to you guys. Uh, let's just kick it back to the video. And that's the same, same, like I said, same idea that we're trying to set up on the left side of the field. We've all ran this before. And another little wrinkle you can do to this play is... Uh, put Mike Evans here, in this case Mike Evans, on a streak route as well. And this is going to create a uh, dagger concept on the left side of the field. So you're going to be running sail on the right, dagger on the left. And, I mean, you kind of get the idea. Pass lead, catch the ball. 
to that side of the field. Let's run Dagger on the left, though, real quick, just to kind of show you. I'm going to block everybody, and we're just going to run Dagger on this side of the field. Boom. Actually, I could have got it out even a little bit quicker there. You want to get it right on the break if you can. Same idea. Mike Evans carries the route down the field, opens up in that area for the little dig route underneath, the little in route underneath. Um, so yeah, that's really Z spot. Another option you can do here, <laughs> I like to give you guys the options here, is uh, block your running back, give a six man protection, send Mike Evans on the drag route, and you're going to kind of get a similar a similar thing there. And there we just, I mean, hit the in route over the middle, I guess. But, but to get the, get the idea here, having these tight splits gives you so many options to do with your other players. Um, blocking your run, like here, I mean, this is a perfect thing. You're looking at double A gap. Maybe this is the perfect situation where you block your running back, throw Godwin or throw Evans on the drag, and try to run it that way. Okay, they drop back. Boom, he played the tight end route, dump it off to Mike Evans underneath. I really love this uh, tight double scheme, to be honest with you. Very, very good stuff. And, of course, I'm not even touching on any run plays here. Um, there's there's run plays in this that you obviously are going to want to go to if you're in a real game. But these pass plays are just, they're really good. They're really good. And the last play we have, though, is Mesh Spot. And I like Mesh Spot um, and having Flood, because you can see the Flood route. It's maybe... What's that look like? A 10-yard uh, corner route. This mesh spot is actually closer to 15 yards. So you're getting a little bit further down the field. And what you can do here is just uh, same thing. You're setting up a sail route. You're setting up the sail concept on that side of the field. Trying to get down the field. Mike Evans get hooked, got hooked up there. But you saw if he didn't get... Uh, I don't know what happened on the field. But he was open um, once, once he got uncaught. So we'll try to run that again. Step up in the pocket. And we just can't get rid of the damn ball. So maybe you do want to block your running back if you are having issues here. And that's, again, why I like this scheme. I mean, you can you have a tight end. You have a running back. You can solidify most of that area. And I'm just throwing the ball. I was just throwing it blindly there. But that is actually another good point. You, if you do pass lead down, like 6 o'clock on those corner routes, um, a lot of times if you click on, you can aggressive catch and come back to the ball here. Well, let's get on the right guy. Let's get on the right guy. Yeah, so I'm pass leading that down and basically coming back to the ball. And a big receiver like Mike Evans, that's a perfect situation for him as well. So another kind of a bailout route there, if you will. And of course, guys, you can always just run this stock. Um, but I do like to run it this way. Another thing you can do is put Chris Godwin on a streak as well and kind of use him as a clear out for Gio Bernard underneath. And you can see how that kind of works as well, using him as a clear out. I love using clear outs down the field to stretch the defense vertically. It's a very good... Very good concept to run here, um, and yeah, let's just try to let's try to hit the Mike Evans route just one time for the one time, man. And there we we threaded the needle there. Um, that is the route you're trying to set up and hit down the field. So yeah, I really love this scheme, guys. Double stick, uh, just a short little intermediate play. Flood attacking to the left, Z spot attacking to the right, uh, short and intermediate, and then you have mesh spot. That's kind of your big hitter down the field with Mike Evans, your 15 yard. Um, uh, your 15-yard sail route, I'm not, I'm not even sure. Um, yeah, down the field, corner route, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, your 15-yard corner route from Mike Evans here, a little bit deeper down the field, uh, especially if they're playing zone drops. Maybe their zone drops don't line up exactly right. And defense is a little bit better. This It's a lot better this year, actually. So having these plays that attack multiple areas of the field is, is certainly a good look for the offense, along with the running the ball here. I mean, here, obviously, they have three down linemen, huge gaps. Maybe you want to run the ball here as well. And we didn't even touch on that out of the scheme. So super nice scheme out of Tampa Bay's book. Tampa Bay's book as a whole is pretty sweet. Um, last couple of years, like I said. But yeah, I mean, that's the end of the scheme here, guys. So hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and add this to your book here. Add, it, add this to your repertoire if you're in Tampa Bay. Or maybe you're switching to Tampa Bay because of this. Add a little bit and uh, yeah, make your game a little bit better. So hope you enjoyed. If, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know what's going on. You watched YouTube videos before. And yeah, I hope to catch you in the next one. Later.